Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making something special, something different. We're going to be making a necklace, a necklace made out of the paper flowers. The paper flowers that looks like a poinsettia, which we also actually made out of a flower set that's not even poinsettias. It's called Pop of Petals. It is also could be purchased along with this punch right here. It's called Four Petal Flowers. Also, at the in case you do want to give this as a gift, I will show you how to make this little box that sits in, that it sits inside, a little pizza-shaped box with a little window so the flowers look very pretty sitting inside. I'll leave a picture and uh, a video. So anyway, I am Debbie Polachek and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Let's get started. Okay, first of all, I'm going to show you how I stamp the flowers out. I used uh, cherry cobbler for the red ones for the flowers, which is three for each flower, so that was nine that I needed. I actually stamped more than that on this thing. It was a good idea to stamp a couple extra anyway, because in case you need them, in case you mess up on some. And here I'm showing the cleaner that's very good to go in between colors the spray and, and that cleaning pad. That way you can change one color to the other without any trouble at all. And now I'm going to use the garden green to stamp. Oh, I pro probably all you will need is probably about uh, three, about six of them. Yeah, like I have here. Maybe not quite that many. Here I'm taking the real red and putting in the center of at least three of them going along all the outside, all of it, uh, on at least three of them. And then going back, I'm doing an extra one here, that's what that's there. But at least, uh, then a few of them, and at least three of them, in just the center again. And doing a little bit of red inside of each one of the green ones. The green ones are going to represent uh, the leaves of a poinsettia, which is the same part of a poinsettia, because all the blooms are actually the leaves. Here I'm going around with the garden green for the leaves that hadn't turned red yet. You need, a, like I said, probably about five or six of those. There I'm putting a little bit on the green on the outside of those uh, white edges. Just to make it look like they're trying to turn. That's going to be the next layer of color. Then, of course, the red ones are going to be left solid red, and the whites, I'm going to leave a little bit white left on the for the highlight. Right now, I'm going inside the center of each one with the cherry cobbler, the darker red. Now, you can vary these colors any way you want to. If you want them a darker red, you can use all cherry cobbler or none at all, whatever you want, and different greens, of course, that Stampin' Up! makes. There, I'm punching them out one by one. In the video below there's a, a listed of, of how you lined your your flowers up with your stamps. There I'm showing I'm using that big piercing mat, turning them upside down, and uh, going to spray them very lightly with this misty, mist and water sprayer. I, I use this at work and I enjoy it here too because it just gives you a fine mist of water. Now I'm going to take that eight millimeter um, stylus and pushing it as hard as I can trying to hit the bottom of the table through that mat and it gives you a real good deep depression of of that leaf then go into the centers all the all the flowers would be done this way a real deep impression inside inside Later on, I'm going to be playing a little bit music here and there because I'm just running out of things to say. And uh, anyway, that will be happening later. So it's going to come on and off with voice. 
If you get tired of my music, just tell me and I'll change it to another one. I just like this one so well. Here I'm pinching this, just the, uh, the edges of each of the little leaves. Because the poinsettia ha kind of has little pointed leaves. So I want to continue that look with this. Next we're going to make a template. And I'm going to take my paper here, that my stamping paper that I use with all the little uh, grid on there. And I'm going to start in the center here. And I'm going to make a mark at two and one quarter inch right here. Then I'm going to count out to two and one quarter, which would be two, be right here, here. Okay, there's my mark there and there. Then from the center, I'm going to go down, go down three quarters of an inch. One, two, three. And then another three quarters of an inch. Next, I'm going to take that line here, and I'm going to curve it to this line. If it's not perfectly straight, it doesn't matter. It's just going, this is going to all be covered with flowers in a little bit. Okay. Something like that. And this line, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back to this line, or that mark, and curve it around. The same way. Now this is your template. So next I'll go ahead and cut this out. I'll fold it in half. That line. I'll make it easy. It does help me to grow if you like, share, and comment on this video, so please do. If you'd like to hear something, if you have something special you need to learn, just let me know and I will try to get that video out for you. This is called Cashmere Tan. I got this at Walmart. And I am going to... make two of these so I want to go ahead and do this fold it over uh, so it's just big enough to hold that I'm going to pin my template to the deal or my pattern newer pair of scissors that I hadn't cut no telling what all with okay and I'm gonna I'm cutting all around the edge holding down those ends so that so the paper doesn't slip away from the felt so you can get it nice and even be careful you don't cut your fingers Later, be careful you don't get that hot glue on your fingers because we're going to be using that in just a few minutes. On my red cord, I'll leave the I'll leave a link in the bottom to this. This is new in our Christmas catalog. And the reason I like it is kind of it's very soft, very soft, so it'd be real nice against your skin. And I'm gonna measure out about a yard of this. So I'm gonna hold it to the tip of my fingers, to the tip of my nose while I'm looking straight ahead, and that's about a yard. I'll tie a knot. Have ready one tied on this end. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a little knot on this end. Okay, now I'm going to put the base of the necklace together. I will be using hot glue. And I'll take the yard of red cord that I cut and divide it in half. And I'll put that in the middle of my form here with a glue a dot. 
a dot of glue. I'm going to go ahead and just run some glue all the places I want this cord to lay. Next, I'm going to take my dried flowers I just showed you how to shape and make. Okay, my plan is to put three on there. I don't take some glue. I think I'll go ahead and get my mat back. And get my eight millimeter. Alice back. I'll put a dollar of glue inside the center of that. Then I'm going to take that green one. Then I'm going to take one with the little green edges and stagger that in between and push it down very firmly. Okay. Next I'm going to go ahead and do the red one. Now you can vary your colors the way you do this. And you know, you see a lot of blue, pretty blue poinsettias, and all different color poinsettias. Kind of depends on more what you want to wear, or what you want this to go with. And but it just seems like everybody likes red. That's why I chose red today. And stagger that one in between. Again, the same. Or just repeat the. Put the glue in the center, and then put your other one on top. Most people can take that glue gun and roll around and they don't have these strings, but I don't care what I do, I still gonna have a string. So just waste my time doing that. So you have good luck with that. I wish you'd tell me what the trick is. in a hurry I'm it's gonna be dry okay That's one of them. makes a real pretty poinsettia so I'm gonna make three of them just like that with a green okay here my video player stops so I'm just going to show you on the other side the opposite side how I did that I took some uh, big big wad of glue to put it on there on each one of those flowers that was three times three flowers then I took the green and I cut the the green ones in apart so I made four leaves out of them and I put those in all the vacant spots that it didn't have flowers on to cover up that felt then I took these gold glitter dots and put, I went ahead and put uh, glue inside of there. They do have sticky on the back of them but when you're wearing as much as this you might not trust that to hold that well so go ahead and use that. Glue, hot glue on that as well. This is my tip for getting rid of the strings of hot glue. Just use the 
heat tool and melt them away. Okay, we're going to go ahead and make the box for our necklace. And I am starting off with a piece of designer series paper. I will leave a link in the description below. And we're going to start off by cutting this eight and three quarters. by seven and a half. Now we're going to take the scoreboard and score it at three and a quarter this right here three and a quarter and one and a half all the way around three and a, three quarters not did I say three and a quarter I'm at three quarters and one and a half all the way around I'm going to put the eight and three quarter inch, the long side, up on top. And now I'm going to score it at four inches. Turn it completely around and score it at four inches. Okay. I cannot see my score line again. Go ahead and uh, reinforce those edges real good. I must not have did that three quarters. Let me see. Something's not right on that one. It's three quarters, one and a half. Oh, that one was, was that one and a quarter. That's what happened. I think one and a half. Yeah, that's one and a half. Three quarters. Let's see if these are at one and a half. Yeah, that one is, that one is, and that one is. Okay, so that one is messed up. ahead and cut these up like I'm supposed to here. Oh, I didn't do these. Did I do these? Yeah, I did. It. Sure is hard to see in the glare of the lights here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all the way up to the second score line on these two inside ones. I'm going to cut this half of this off. I'm going to wedge these in just a bit. This 
same thing on this side. Now on this one, we're going to cut all the way to the second score line, all the way to the second score line, cut this one off, wedge it a bit, cut this one off halfway, wedge this one a bit, wedge this one, and this one. This is it. Okay, so we're going to do those on all four corners. Now I have cut a template for a window because I want to be able to see my necklace on the inside. So this template measures. This is so you don't have to use a die in case you don't have a die. I know everybody doesn't have one of the big shots. So try to make it simple. This project simple without the using the um, die cutter. Just be, have to get a punch in order to make this. So this measures three and a half by one and three quarters. Now I'm going to take this side and take this side like this so I can tell where the center of this spot is because this is going to be the lid right here. I'm going to take this and center it in there as close as I can. Now I'll take a pencil. Now be sure and take a pencil. Now if I marked it on the inside it wouldn't have mattered so much but but I'm going to go ahead and use a pencil. Probably a good idea to use a pencil either way and mark Mark this, this shape all the way around. Now, you can poke a hole in there and cut that out with your scissors. But I'm not the straightest cutter in the world. So I'd rather go ahead and use my uh, paper trimmer here. sure all my flaps are out. Don't want to cut them. I'm going to measure. I mean, I'm going to put this in so I can see my pencil line right in the middle of that the groove of the cutter here. And I'm going to take this, take my blade in, right where the middle of this is where it'll start cutting. So if I stand over it, I'll see exactly where it starts. I'm going to cut all the way down to this pencil line here. And move this over this way because I think it'd be easier. Put this in the middle of the pencil line. This in the middle of the line going the other way. Go all the way down to this pencil line goes over this this little area here in the center of that cutter. Now I'm going to do just the opposite. I'm going to start where the okay my line is in the middle I'm going to put this in the center of that cut all the way down to the next center of that cut okay I'm standing right over the top of it Center. There's the center. Well, not the best in the world, but it's close enough. Oh, look at that. That's off the line completely. I wonder how in the world I did that one. I don't know, but i got to go back and do it again. Get this right. Because I'm seeing things. <laughs> look, that's a good quarter of an inch off. Still can't see it when I put it down. It's weird. There. Wow. Now I see it this direction. Strange. Okay, let's do it again here. Center the line to that line. See, I got that one off a bit too, I think. 
sure did. No, that one's right. Oh, that one I went over. Oh, well, let's see. Hopefully it'll work out okay. That one I just went over, too. No. Lord have mercy, yeah. I think that's okay. Yeah, that one I went over a little bit. But this one's good, which is good. Okay. Now, if I have, I have already cut a window that measures four inches by two and a quarter, and that still would put, fit in my deal, even though I did cut that a little bit bigger than it should have been. I do want to erase that pencil line. I see a pencil line here. Some glue, a thin line of glue all along the inside edge. the edges the outside edges so the glue will squeeze out the other direction instead of the inside of the window sheet okay and that'll do it got our window in there now I'm gonna take the glue and glue these little corners here this one and this one, don't fold them up. Meet the corners real close as you can. Hold it down just for a couple minutes and do this edge here. Same thing, good square corner. This, 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 and it all should be square. Pinch it. Move on to this side and do the same thing. these little these are just kind of make the box a little bit stronger they're little reinforcement edges here put glue all along the sides of those okay. take my bone folder you probably can't see I'm going to take that, can you see, and I'm going to rub it all the way inside of there, and rub it down. to do on this situation here see how that kind of corner sticks out I like to take that and kind of angle that off a little bit too open that back up if I can angle this off just a bit my little 
necklace in there. If I tied that in a bow, that would be better. And then let's see how the flower looks like on top of this. Mm, it's too much, I think. I think that's pretty just the way it is. So anyway, this is our project. I hope you like it. And we'll be seeing you next time. Thank you for stopping by. Bye-bye.